Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 177. I am Shane Thomas. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. And if you get a chance, take a look at codekarate.com, look at the ebook, check out some of the cheat sheets we've been releasing, and let us know what you think or if you have any other ideas. Today we're going to be going over the exclude node title module. And this is one of the simplest modules you'll probably find out there, but it's also useful in a lot of situations. This will be a really quick video, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right in. The exclude node title simply lets you hide the node title of various nodes on your Drupal site. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we have the exclude node title downloaded and installed, which in this case we do. It has a number of permissions that go along with it. You can administer exclude node title, which of course is for admins. You can exclude any node title, exclude your own node titles, and this important one is use exclude node title, which simply means if you have the checkbox and you are trying to exclude that title, you'll actually see it. The default permissions are usually pretty good to go, so you don't need to do much configuration there. So we'll go ahead and leave that. The configuration page for the exclude node title module is under configuration, content, authoring, and exclude node title. And it, it allows you to do a number of things. and It's all based on content types. So the first option, you can remove the node title from search pages if you would like. I'm going to leave that unchecked. Here's some information about translations if you want those to be synchronized. But the important part is right in this section, the exclude title by content types. So essentially what you're able to do is you go to the content type you want to hide the node title for. In this case, let's go to article. You can hide it for all articles or specific nodes. So let's go ahead and select all nodes. Before we do, I'm going to go back to the home page. These are there's a bunch of different content in here, but on the second page there's a number of articles. So as you can see these with the word article are actually article pages on the site. So you can see you can see the title there if we go to the actual node page, you do not see the title because I had that configured earlier. But we're going to go ahead and hide the title for all nodes. And we're only going to hide the teaser in this case just to see how that's going to work. So if we save it and we come back to this page, you'll notice the node title is now gone on all of those article nodes. If I go to the page though, the node title is displayed. If I want to change that so it is not displayed on the full node page or the full content page. I simply click that checkbox and save. And now the title will be gone. If there are specific nodes, let's say you have a page that you're displaying on the home page of your site and you do not want the node title to show up on the home page, you could simply select the content type so it could be basic page but we'll use article and select user defined nodes let's only check full content for now and we'll click save if we come back to our list of articles and we refresh you'll see that the article title is now there if we go into the article let's make sure we save this I believe this one was already checked. You'll see there's a checkbox here. Exclude title from display. If we uncheck that, the title will show up. And if we check it, the title will go away. So let's look at a couple other articles here. Now the title is gone. If we go to a node that is not an article, so this one is not an article node, you'll see there is no checkbox, so you can't hide that node title. So it's pretty flexible in what it allows you to do. If you go to another article here, you'll see it's not checked by default. You can check it, click Save, and now this 
title will not be displayed. So there's a number of reasons why this might be useful. So whether you need to hide a title on a specific page or there's specific content types where the title just it doesn't provide a lot of value and you want to just hide that from the user, you can do use this module to do that. So go ahead and try it out. Uh, there's a lot of situations in the past where I've uh, used a the template.php file to hide titles or used uh, CSS in the past to hide titles on a few pages. So this just kind of consolidates that and allows you to do it through a nice interface rather than having to write a whole bunch of small snippets of code depending on the site or the specific use case you need. So let us know what you think. Check out CodeKarate.com and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.